Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to this new video number 196. How to transfer survey data from questionnaires to SPSS for analysis. In this video, I am going to use uh, a questionnaire data uh, that uh, I want to uh, shift to SPSS and uh, then I will show. Uh, how to do simple analysis in SPSS. Here is uh, an example uh, from one of my MPhil students uh, thesis questionnaire or interview schedule. And uh, the questionnaire is uh, long, but uh, I have just uh, copied uh, preliminary information from the questionnaire and uh, uh, I want to set a structure for uh, data analysis in uh, SPSS. So these are, uh, this is the topic of the MPhil thesis and uh, these are respondent information. So this is name of the respondent, this is gender of household head, one for male, two for female, this is education of household head in years, household, age of household head in years, income of the household, rupees per month, Household size, number of members living in the family, type of household that is joint family or nuclear or extended and so on. And uh, this is the uh, marital status of the household. Head. Now in this, uh, this uh, series list of questions, some of the questions are qualitative and some are quantitative. So I will show uh, how to uh, enter this uh, data in uh, SPSS. Uh, before I go to do that, let me remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about my new videos that uh, I will uh, upload for you. Thank you. Now I will go to SPSS and uh, the questions that I just showed you uh, in the questionnaire, uh, I have entered uh, these uh, variables name here in the variable view and uh, in the data view there are only uh, these things. So I have not yet uh, entered the data. So I go to the variable view. So the respondent ID. Now in type it says uh, numeric. Now, now the respondent ID is numeric. So uh, I can uh, keep it numeric like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and uh, for the name, uh, name is not uh, numeric so I will change this and instead of name I will uh, click on string. I will press ok for gender. Now gender uh, is a uh, numeric but uh, Gender is not quantitative, so I will go to values and here I will put the values. Now in my questionnaire uh, for the gender, uh, one is for male and uh, two is for female. So uh, value will be one and uh, label will be male. I will add it and then two for the female. I will add and uh, click here. So uh, here uh, if I click this it will show the codes. Similarly for the age, uh, for the education of the auto, this is numeric. So let me change it here. This is also uh, nominal here and uh, this uh, education is a uh, scale variable. I will change this. Age is also a scale variable and uh, income is also a scale variable. Size of the household is a scale variable. Type of, of, of household is uh, nominal and uh, I will also change it here. So let me check in the questionnaire for the type of household. One is for giant and two is for nuclear. So here I will go to values and uh, I write uh, 
one for the joint family and uh, two for the nuclear. Now after adding this here, I will press OK and the final variable is also a nominal. So I have three categories here. Uh, let me check. Married, unmarried and widowed. So one is for uh, married. Eight. Uh, two is for uh, unmarried. And uh, three is for uh, widowed. Uh, one can also be another category. Let us suppose there is another category and that is divorced. So I have, sorry, uh, this uh, label should be written here. Divorce, edit, and uh, now I will press OK. Now the sketch is ready. So if I look at this uh, sketch, three are. Uh, Three are nominal variable and uh, some are uh, scale variables and uh, uh, this one is a um, string so uh, sorry this one is a scale also and uh, this uh, uh, by default the SPSS text nominal but you can say it's unknown so I can change it like this now I go to data view this is my data view. Now I can put data here say for example 001 and uh, 002 and uh, 003 uh, and uh, you can uh, do like this and this is name string so you can like write David, uh, Gerald, you can write Salim and so on. And uh, for the gender, it could be 1, 2 and so on. For the household at education, this could be number of years uh, and so on. And uh, this is uh, age, that could be 47, say for example 56 and uh, 63. And this is income in rupees could be uh, this is annual income and uh, so on. And uh, this is the household size say for example 5, 4, and uh, 10 and this is the household type 1 2 1 and so on and uh, this is uh, the marital status now now these are in numbers if i want to see the labels i could uh, do like this now it shows me the label so i can uh, look at these uh, interchangeably numbers and uh, um, labels. Then I can, uh, uh, if I have the whole data, say for example from 1 to 500 or 1000, so I will have this data and then I can uh, analyze this data uh, using descriptive data like this. I will go to analyze, so I can uh, check the frequencies. The frequencies can be checked for the uh, nominal or uh, ordinal variables and uh, say for example uh, gender I want to the numerical and uh, this is the type of household and uh, there is another variable marital status and I want to see the uh, frequencies so it gives me the frequency variable. So, you see, 
67% uh, of the household head are male and 33% uh, are female. Uh, these are the valid percentages, these are the cumulative percentages. Here is the uh, uh, tabulation of a uh, type of uh, household. So, again, 67% uh, uh, are uh, giant family, they are living under giant family system, and 33% uh, are uh, nuclear. Here are the valid percentages, and so on. And then the last table is that of uh, marital status. So, 33% each are married, unmarried and uh, wid widowed. Uh, since this is just uh, a hypothetical example and I have only 3 household data, so uh, it gives me 33%, 33% and 33%. Uh, if I have the entire data set, uh, then these percentages may be different. So, this is uh, how we analyze the data. Now, let me split split this uh, uh, variable on the basis of some uh, variable. So, let me go to split file and I compare groups on the basis of say uh, type of household. So, let me say ok and in the here uh, it says uh, split file layered by type of household head and now if I want to analyze the data the same data that I just did before uh, I will go to analyze and descriptive so frequencies and again I, I also want to do this uh, descriptive uh, frequency distribution for these three variables that I already um, early did earlier. Press OK. And uh, the difference between this data analysis and the earlier one is that now the SPSS has uh, tabulated the data on the basis of type of household. Now, this is for the giant family system and this is for the nuclear family. And here also for the gender of the household head. This is for the giant and this is for the uh, nuclear. And uh, similarly, uh, here under marital status of the household head, uh, I have uh, tabulation of the uh, household head marital status. This is for the joint family and uh, this is for the uh, nuclear family. So, if I compare these three tables with these three tables, here, there is tabulation, but uh, the file uh, is not split on uh, the marital uh, status of the household basis. So, this is data analysis for the entire file. But if I split the file on the basis of any category like gender or um, marital status, then uh, the SPSS will analyze data for me uh, for the groups and I can compare these uh, groups. Similarly, I can also analyze uh, data for the numerical variable for descriptives and now uh, let us suppose uh, this is a numerical variable and uh, this is a numerical variable and uh, this is a, a, a numerical variable and uh, I give the command. Now it has uh, calculated the data, uh, the data analysis for me. Uh, it has a number of uh, observations, minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation, but it has analyzed the data uh, for two different groups, that is giant and that is nuclear family. Now, I will have to unsplit the data so that the data is in original. So, I will go to split again and now I will click on this. Now, this time uh, the split file option is off. So, if I analyze the same data that I just did. Now, it will give me descriptive statistics for the whole sample uh, without uh, category. Now, if you compare these two, so there is difference. This is for the whole sample. There is no uh, group comparison of the giant and nuclear, but here is the comparison of giant and nuclear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we uh, shift data from questionnaire to 
um, uh, SPSS and analyze uh, 